Welcome to my channel SwiftLearn. This tutorial I will show you how to create multiple report in a single RDLC report in C Sharp Windows Palm application. If you don't subscribe my channel yet, please subscribe and press the bell icon for upcoming videos. Start Visual Studio. Click on New Project. Uh, Windows Palm application name the application multiple report RDLC location in G icon folder it's stored in uh, the for project created in the G icon folder okay now it is this form in this form I will display report multiple report and single RDLC report this is my database username essay SQL Server authentication and password is uh, blah 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 okay now it's connected this is the tab this is the table s20 info tab exam info tab and class info tab and these are the column in this table okay now go to the toolbox and add button control this button control I will use to load report in report viewer at the level control this level control I will use as title of this page text is multiple report in a single RDLC report in Windows form change the font size make it as bigger because of this is title of this page Pound bold true okay and change the back color of this form this is default control back color as green yes now it's looking nice and change the back color of this button control also okay now change the font size of this uh, button text size is 10 and font bold true okay now for, for color I mean text color is white okay button page change the text text is load report yes now go to the toolbox and add a Microsoft report viewer just uh, drag the uh, expand the reporting and the report viewer drag and drop it in the windows palm application resize this report viewer okay it's okay now i'm adding a data set right click on the project in solution explorer and add new item click on data select the data set and name the data set the default name is dataset1.xsd I just renamed it with the main dataset okay now the dataset is created you can add uh, the data table or you can drag the data ta uh, the table from the server explorer which you created in the SQL server database click on yes the connection is being used as all okay class info tab exam info tab and student info tab there is T three table I will display the three tables records in in one report in multi uh, RDLC report okay now I'm gonna add report in that case uh, so click reporting report you can use report wizard name is RDLC report one dot RDLC this is the report okay now I'm gonna design this report to design this report go to the report data and click on new if you don't have report data just go to the view menu and click on report data it will be added now click on new data set what I created data set data set 1 and data source is my data set and uh, you can see uh, the all the table what I added in the data set it's uh, added in the uh, report data so exam to exam info tab and add uh, another table class info tab 
click on ok yes all the uh, table added in the report data my data set insert text box this text box i'll use to uh, as a title of the report text is all in one view make it center change the font size and font bold true okay now it's looking nice now i'm gonna add all these tables uh, in this report in that case first first table i will use to uh, display student info so click my data set data set one student name address and age this is from student info tab add new column insert column right yes contact okay now i'm gonna add one more table click on table yes this table i will use to display the uh, second data set exam name and fee no need third column so delete this column yes resize this column now i'm gonna add third table in this table i will display class info so reset reset three class id and class name okay delete column and resize this report also now it's done double click to go to the button uh, button click event this event i will uh, you uh, write code to display report in report be your okay private data table student info now data table dt equal to new data table now uh, use sql connection to connect uh, project with the database sql connection con equal to new sql connection you should add namespace system dot data dot sql client yes this the namespace is added okay now open the connection con dot open now add command sql command cmd equal to new sql command my sql command is select star from student info tab this is the sql server table and click on ok now ok uh, sql data reader rd equal to cmd dot execute reader now load rd in dt dt dot load rd return dt ok it's done now I have to add connection string to add connection string go to the solution explorer and uh, open the app config file you can see the connection string uh, just select the connection string and copy copy this connection string right click to copy yes it's copied now first in the double quotation in sql connection okay now it's connected with the sql server database now just uh, select and copy this method <coughs> i have to um, write three method for uh, uh, student info exam info and class info this is for student info now i just uh, um, uh, uh, copy this for ex exam info this is exam info and uh, this one is for class info okay now it's done now uh, just change the command connection string is same just change the command 
uh, the exam info method uh, change the command is exam info tab and uh, uh, class info or uh, class info underscore tab okay now it's done now I'm gonna write code uh, in the button click event to load uh, uh, data uh, uh, in real crystal uh, RDLC report and report viewer okay report data source as student info equal to new report data source uh, add namespace oh sorry s is a small letter so problem s is uh, should be capital letter source says okay now add namespace using microsoft reporting dot to this form just click it will add automatically in the using uh, microsoft dot reporting dot this form okay now it's done now add one double quotation data set one uh, my data set is data set one and uh, data set one is for student info you can see in the uh, data uh, uh, you can see it when you go to the report RDLC report you can see the data set one and two and three which I added uh, in the reporters okay now just copy report data source student info and report data source uh, to uh, for class info Sorry, for uh, for, uh, to, for exam info data just data set 2 is for exam info just copy the method this is for exam info and uh, report data source this is uh, da data set 3 for class info equal to new report data source data set 3 this is for class info now add the method class info ok now report viewer what I added in the windows form application Report viewer one dot local report dot data source dot add now add a student inf s t u d i n f okay you can see uh, and same as uh, report viewer one dot local report dot data source dot add uh, exam inf and class inf finally Report viewer one dot refresh report. You should do refresh report all the time to load report. Okay, now debug. Yes, it's debugging. Just uh, click on load. Oh, the source of the report destination uh, definition has not been specified. Uh, I have not uh, specified the report destination. So now add report destination. I mean report location. RDLC report location. So report viewer one dot local report dot report path. Report path is my report path is uh, report name. Okay, this is the report one dot RDLC to uh, get the path right click and click on property okay full path this is the full path just double click uh, select all and copy you can use this path g icon or oh, add at the rate uh, in the starting of double quotation yes and now it's solved debug again now load report yes the report is displaying and loading perfectly 
but uh, this uh, location full location is not perfect because if you want to use this application in different uh, com different PC I mean client PC then it will uh, not get the exact location so I will uh, show you how to um, uh, use a specific location uh, without uh, without food uh, without mentioning the full location full directory okay now you can see the report is displaying perfectly I click and uh, click the body property fill color color lime yes now click ok yes the report is now displaying colorful with green color yes it's now fine multiple report student info exam info and class info all are displaying in single report okay now report path this is full path i will not use full path i will only use report one dot rdlc so that if you uh, if i use this application in different computer I and mean client pc then it will sh it should be okay but here you can see an error occurred during the local report uh, g icon you can see it's displaying the bean debug report one dot rdlc it's uh, expecting the report in the debug folder of the application of the solution uh, to uh, display to load this report you should place this uh, on the report dot rdlc file in the debug folder so this is the debug folder uh, just click the report one dot rdlc and drag and drop it in the debug folder okay now you can see it will not displaying any error it will get the uh, rdlc report from the debug folder automatically so debug again load yes now it's working without uh, uh, instead of full fat it's only uh, uh, report name now load but it's not displaying the source of the report uh, definition is not found so comment out I'll comment yes the back again load yes it's displaying perfectly